My name is Jamie McDonald. I am an attorney with McDonald Law Offices. Our firm represents individuals in consumer bankruptcy cases throughout the entire state of Arizona. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to do if a creditor files a motion to lift the stay in your Chapter 13 bankruptcy case. When you file the Chapter 13, a stay goes into place automatically upon the filing of your petition. It is the stay that protects the property, allows you to retain the property. Once the stay is lifted, the creditor is allowed to proceed against the property. For example, if the stay is lifted regarding your house, the lender will be allowed to proceed with the trustee sale or foreclosure process. If a trustee sale was scheduled at the time your Chapter 13 was filed and simply continued during the Chapter 13 proceedings, then once that stay is lifted, the lender will be allowed to conduct the sale on the next scheduled sale date with no further notice to you. If there was no trustee sale pending when you filed the Chapter 13, once the stay is lifted, the lender will be required to file a notice of trustee sale at the county recorder's office. Once that notice is filed, the sale will be scheduled to take place 90 days, 91 days later. If the stay is lifted regarding your house, you will not be able to retain the house unless you cure the entire default. That includes any payments that were scheduled to be paid through your Chapter 13 trustee uh, plan payments, uh, any foreclosure, trustee sale fees, and so on, attorney fees, collection costs. They will all be required to be paid in certified funds to stop that sale. If the stay is lifted regarding a vehicle, the lender will be allowed to repossess the vehicle. It may be possible to prevent this stay from being lifted by filing a response to the creditor's motion. You will only have 15 days from service of the motion to file a response. If a motion is filed and you want to file a response to try to retain the property, you must immediately schedule an appointment with your attorney. Do not delay. You only have 15 days to act. If the motion is filed and you do not file a response, the stay will be lifted even if you cure the default. If a motion is filed regarding your house and you are not behind on the payments as alleged in the motion, you'll be required, once you file a response, you'll be required to provide proof that you have made those payments. If you are in fact in default on the payments, we will likely be able to propose a stipulation to the lender where, you'll, where you will make a separate payment each month, usually for a period of approximately six months. That separate payment will be used to cure the post petition default. If a motion is filed regarding a vehicle based on a plan payment default, we may be able to file a motion to modify your Chapter 13 plan to suspend those payments and keep the stay in place so that you can retain the vehicle. If you receive a motion, do not delay. Call us immediately at 480-968-3100.